Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Assalamu alaikum, my sister. If you look at the board, you will see the letter Lamb. And I would want to tell you that this letter is one of the glorious letters of the Arabic language. Reason being that this letter has a lot of meanings and you can use it in a lot of ways to convey different emotions and different meanings. And this we've discussed about it previously. Today, I want us to look at another way of using the letter lamb. Now, let's go to the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La khalqu samawati wal ard akbaru min khalqin nas. What is the meaning? I will tell you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Wala darul akhirati khayrun wala ni'ma darul muttaqin. I will also tell you the meaning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, Wala abidun mu'minun khayrun min mushrikin walau ajabakum. He also says, Wala amatun mu'minatun khayrun min mushrikatin walau ajabatkum. When you look at the first verse, Lada um la khalqu samawati wal ard akbaru min khalqin nas. He says, The creation of the skies and the earth is bigger than the creation of the human race. Now, what is that lamb doing there? Why not why not khalqu samawati wal ard akbaru min khalqin nas only? What is that la la doing there? I'll tell you. We also come to the second verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala darul akhirati khayrun, wala ni'ma darul muttaqin. And the home of the hereafter is better. Do you understand? Is better. What is that lamb also doing there? Now we look at the third verse where Allah says, Wala abdu mu'minun khayrun min mushrikin wala wa'ajabakum. And the believing slave, the believing servant is better than the idolater. Even if he amazes you. And the last verse he also says, and the believing and the believing slave girl is better for you than the disbelieving or the idolater, even if she amazes you. Now, all these verses with the translation, we have not captured the law that you see in each of them. This la that you see there, the lamb you see there, is called la ibtida. The meaning, the reason is that it is being used to begin the sentence or the statement. So this lamb usually comes attached to the ismul muptada, to the nominal noun. You know in the nominal sentence, you have the muptada and you have the khobar. The muptada is the noun and the khobar will be the predicate. So this lamb is usually attached to the uh, to the noun. That's why you see la khalqu samawati. What to feel talking and this lamb signifies emphasis. So whenever you see this lamb, it means indeed or verily or truth or truthfully or undoubtedly. Do you understand now? So can we go back and translate? Now we say la khalqu samawati wal ardi akbar min khalqin nas. Indeed, the creation of the heaven and the earth is better than the creation of the human, is, is bigger than that of the human. The second verse also, where Allah says, Wala darul akhirati khayrun, wala ni'ma darul muttaqin. He says, and the home of the hereafter, meaning, indeed, the home of the hereafter is better and do you understand? It's better. So, voila, that lamb there is showing what? Emphasis. When he also says, Wala abidun mu'minun khayrun min mushrikin. It means, and indeed, a believing slave is better. This is an emphasis. This is to show you that it is undoubted, undoubtful. There's no doubt about it. That a believing slave is better than the idolater. The same thing, a believing slave female girl is also better than the free or idolater that you know. So, this means that this lab, whenever it is attached, it is attached to be used for emphasis. This we have even discussed previously. Today, we want to move a step further to discuss about this lab deeply or deeper than what we have thought about, talked about. 
this land, since we have already so they established the fact that it usually accompanies the Muqtada, which is the noun. Now I want to tell you that sometimes this lamb will be moved, will be glided or slided to go and be attached to the khobar. Instead of it to be with the Muqtada, sometimes it will slide, to, it will be made to slide to the khobar. This comes when inna has appeared in the sentence. You already know the rule guiding inna that inna is also used for tawkid, that is for emphasis. And inna is also introduced into a nominal sentence. Now, we also have a lot of verses in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used these two, both inna and the lamb. Now, let me give an example. If you have a sentence like the verse of the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna ilahakum la wahid. Ilahakum wahidun or ilahukum wahidun. Your God is one. This is a nominal sentence. Your God is one. This statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we want to use it as our own statement, we can say, La ilahukum wahidun. Indeed, your God is one. Can you see? Indeed, your God is one. La ilahu kum wahid. Indeed, your God is one. Using the lamb of emphasis, the lamb of ibtida. Now, if we also choose, we can say, Inna ilaha kum wahidun. Indeed, your God is one. Here, we've been able to use the lamb of ibtida and the inna both differently, separately, without joining them together. But in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose to join, to use the both emphasis, both the inner and lamb al ibtida. So, in doing this, what happened is that the lamb al ibtida was made to slip, was made to slide or glide to the khobar. The khobar in that statement, ilahukum wahid, is the word wahidu. So, since inna is coming, he says, inna ilahakum, indeed your, your God, la wahid is one. So the lamb is now being attached to wahidun, which is the khobar. Simply put, when lamb wal ibtida is the only letter coming, only letter of emphasis coming, inna is not coming, it will be at the beginning of the sentence with the muqtada. So you simply say, la ilahu kum wahidun. If inna alone is coming, you also use it. But when they are together, the lamb wal ibtida or lamb wal tawkid will be made to be with the khabar, and that is why we say inna ilahakum lawahid. Another example I can give to you, I can say aliyum zakiyum, aliyum zakiyum. Ali is what clever, aliyum zakiyum, or I can say aliyum talibun. Ali is a student. Now, from this statement, aliyum talibun, Ali is a student. If I want to emphasize using the inna and the la molibtida, how do I say it? I will simply say, inna aliyan la talibun. That is very easy. Inna aliyan la talibun. Indeed, Ali is a student. So, this is being emphasized using both inna and the la molibtida. We are still with you with the book, the Rasulullah Bata Arabiya, a lot of people have asked how they could purchase this book. This book is of utmost importance. If you are really serious with the business of learning the Arabic language, I recommend that you buy this book because it is full of interesting topics which will skyrocket your learning of the Arabic language. You can simply move to any Arabic bookstore to purchase just the name again is Durusulloka. Durusulloka simply. Or you can even call Medina Arabic called the Arabic one. Then we also have the Medina Arabic book which is the key to this book to make it simplified for you. This, you can purchase it through my affiliate link placed in the description box without an extra cost to you and to be of benefit to our channel. Now, let's move on. We are still on lesson 19 of this book. And here, we are going to be discussing this topic which I have introduced to you deeply. Let's look at it. He says, Inna Allah hala gafur rahim. Indeed, Allah is gafur what they call the forum all forgiving rahimun most merciful 
we have the word, the, the letter lamb coming with the gofol. And if I say Allahu, gofol, rahim, this is correct, without emphasis. Now, I think Allah is going to choose to emphasize this statement by saying, In Allah, indeed Allah. And the lamb there, originally, should be with Allah. Who would have said, La Allahu, gofol, indeed Allah is forgiven. But because of inna, Allah says, in Allah. Then the lamb is now being attached to the gofol, which is the predicate, the khabar. So he says, in Allah, la gofol rahim. Indeed, Allah is most forgiving or all forgiving, most merciful. So these two are used to emphasize this statement to show the extent of, or to make us understand the extent of the forgiveness and the mercy of our Creator. Now he says, "Hadhi lamb will ibtida da khalat ala khabar." This lamb that you see with gofurun, it is called the lamb will ibtida, the lamb of beginning. It is used to begin a statement. Now this lamb is now introduced into the khabar, which is the predicate. Inna al maksura wa tusam mahin aydin lamb al muzahliqo. So ala khabar inna this lamb it is meant to be introduced into the khabar of inna because you know whenever inna is introduced into a nominal sentence, the noun becomes the noun of inna and the khabar becomes the khabar of inna. This is saying. Again, that because the lamb is coming to the khabar of inna, the inna al maksura meaning inna which has kisra, that not anna. It is inna we're talking about. What to say, mahina idin al-lamul muzahlaqo. And this made this lamb to be called the, the slid lamb or the, 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 the glided lamb. The lamb which has been displaced, which has been moved away from its original position. Waha amthilatan lil la mil mudahlako. And here you are to take the examples for this type of lamb. The first example we have here is Allah says in the Quran, so to Sufat, verse 4, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna ila um lawahid. Indeed, your Lord is one. Lawahid. Number two, Allah says, so to like about chapter 29, verse 4 to Allah says, Wa inna au hanal buyuti la baytul ankabut. Now, can you all amun? Allah says, We in the Auhan al Buyud, and the most fragile, and the most, and indeed, the most fragile of all houses, La Baitul Akabud, is the house of what? The spider. You know how fragile it is? Can you easily break it? Can you blow it away? And how should it go? So, this is what Allah says in the Quran. So, you can see, We in the Auhan al Baiti, La Baitu. Because Baitu here is the khabar, so we attach La to it, it becomes La Baitu. Number four, we, number three, we have wa inna ankarul aswati la sawtul hamir. Allah says in the Surah Al-Luqman, verse 19, Allah says wa inna ankarul aswati. And the worst of voices, the most hated of voices or the worst of voices is the voice of what? The hamir. That is the donkey. Can you see that? So, la sawtul. Because sawtul here is khabar, la sawtul. The lamb is attacked. Number four, we have Inna hu la Qur'anun karim. Indeed, it is the glorious Qur'an, the Holy Qur'an. So, la Qur'anun. Qur'anun there is coming as khabar. Allah attacked the lamb al muzah la it. So, it becomes, Inna hu la Qur'anun karim. Do you understand? Lastly, Allah says in the Qur'an, Satul Ali Muran, chapter 3, verse 19, Allah says, Inna awwala baytin udi alin nasi la ladhini bakka. He says, indeed, the first of the houses of worship which is being made for the people is the one in Bakka, which is Makkah. So you see, in the awwala bayt of the Lanasi, la levi, la levi, a levi there, that is the khabar. So la levi be Bakka. So with this, at least with these verses, you've been able to understand the meaning of the law when you come, in with the, when you come into the Quran to recite. Because sometimes when we say the Quran, I'll come across some of these things, we will feel like, ah, why are they being attacked? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send anything which is not beneficial. Or for no reason. No, no, no. Allah is not playing. So all these letters you see, changing from one thing to the other, they all have their meanings and their reasons behind them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us better understanding.
my brother, my sister, make sure you like, share with your friend, and even drop a comment in the comment section so we know your thoughts about this video. Until we meet again, you can simply click on the join button here to join our membership for exclusive members content ranging from quizzes, polls, videos, and a hardest for those of us who join the hardest learning level. Until we meet again, I say Jazakum Allah Khairan for always being my support. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum.